Earlier in the show, we took a Jeep Wrangler around some of the tracks at the Melbourne 4x4 Training and Proving Ground to show you why it's so popular for off-roaders when they want to tackle some rough stuff on all fours. Now we all know that the Jeep Wrangler was purpose-built to tackle all that rough stuff and does it with ease. However, in 1987, when the six-cylinder EFI Ford Fairmont gear was released, it was the furthest thing from the designer's mind. Having owned an XFS pack in the early 90s and being the responsible young family man I was back then, the furthest thing from my mind would have been taking a family sedan on a four-wheel drive track. So why would I do it now? <sighs> Gotta wonder. Anyhow, this is our first task. It's the hill climb. Very nearly could be our last as well. Uh, a couple of things we're lacking. We're lacking four-wheel drive, we're lacking clearance, and we're lacking a degree of sanity as well. But let's find out what's happening. Put it into two-wheel drive, low range. Put the foot down. If we can get it half up. Oh, we've got a bit of speed. We're coming to the hump. Now this is where we need four-wheel drive. Oh. Uh, it ain't going nowhere. Set backwards. <laughs> My laugh was part having a ball, and part I'd like to see the face on the bloke who designed the XF. But I haven't finished just yet. Time to see if I can bury it. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Low range two wheel drive again, and we'll go. Okay, give it a few revs. Now, not too hard though, as there is a corner and the turn wheels might dig in. Starting to spin the wheels. And of course, no limited slip diff or front wheel drive, so we need to keep the power on. Round to the right. And there you go. That was almost a little too easy. Now, on to the moguls. Okay, here we are at the Moguls. Clearance is going to be a big issue, amongst other things. My expectations? Not much. Okay, let's see what happens here. I don't know how we're going to go through this right. Oh, if we can keep it moving, we've got a bit of a chance. Oh, oh, easy. Okay, oh, grind. Oh, oh, just oh, oh. Okay, now this is where the transition of weight and four-wheel drive and together. Oh, she goes. Ah. Wasn't really a problem. Well, wackanooey, hey? <laughs> Who needs four-wheel drive when you can have an 87 Ford Fairmont gear six-cylinder EFI? Bring on the water, I reckon. Well, here we go. Time for the water course. Hopefully we don't get stuck on anything. I think it's fairly solid base. Um, depth of water is another thing. Through this part it shouldn't be too bad. Do I look as if I'm in pain? It's because I am wondering what's going to happen here. So that's all right to there, but it's only been relatively shallow. Now comes the deep part. Oh my goodness. Okay, if we can keep the bow wave going, we might have a chance. Hopefully there are no big rocks. I was certainly a lot happier doing this in the Wrangler. About now, I can see the wave coming up to the top of the bonnet. It's gonna get deeper about now. Just keep going. Do I look confident? I feel confident. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tell you one thing we have found. I think we're at the uh, I think we're at the limit of things not working anymore. And it had nearly got there. But our main issue at the moment is gear. <laughs> uh, 
You better come and get your gear quickly. <laughs> now. Well, let's summarise the day. The hill climb, Wrangler did it easily. Uh, Fairmont gear, nearly. Got further than what we'd expected. Sand trap, the gear cruised through it to our surprise. But even more surprising was the way it went through the Mogul. Sure, it wasn't as comfortable as in the Wrangler, but it got there. Boy, were we cocky at that stage as we went to the water. And, ta-da! Ah. What went wrong? Basically, the back wheels lost grip. Dearly missed having another two wheels at the front driving the car as well. And also we found out that the door seals of a 1987 Fairmont Kia aren't quite what they used to be. So as we have a look at it, that's one to the Wrangler, certainly one to the 4x4 training and proving ground, and one for me to get a taxi. Somehow. Taxi? Mate?